everybody, it's Paul Yokobetis from Carrie Estate Planning back with another video as part of our 366 video challenge for 2020. Today I want to talk about transfer on death and payment on death designations on your accounts. So we generally get questions about how do I avoid probate? Uh, what's the easiest way? And you know, a lot of times when we're working on probate cases, the most common asset uh, aside from motor vehicles to, to be included in probate is a deposit account that wasn't designated in any way. Uh, deposit accounts would be checking, savings, money market, those types of you know traditional bank accounts. And so a really good and easy way to avoid probate with those accounts is to put designations on them. And usually with deposit accounts, they come in one of two varieties. One is called a transfer on death or a TOD. So that means that you designate a person to receive the actual account after you're gone. So if you pass away, the account stays at the same bank. It just gets retitled to the name of the beneficiary. That may be fine if you have a national bank uh, or at least a very large regional bank and the beneficiary lives in that same region. But it's not as easy if it's a, you know, a small credit union, uh, you know, in your hometown that you no longer live in, for instance. The other version is POD or payable on death. So that generally means that the, the designated beneficiary will receive the value of the account instead of the account itself. So generally the uh, account would be closed out and the balance of the account would be paid to the beneficiary in the form of a check. So that can be easier if you've got more secluded or remote bank accounts, like a credit union from home, that kind of thing, um, because it may not be as easy to coordinate the receipt of an account in that type of bank if you're not local to that area. So two different options, either works, sort of the same ends by different means, but it can very easily help those types of accounts, you know, savings, checking, and money market uh, from falling into probate and being included uh, in that process and potentially, you know, creating a full probate versus a small estate proceeding if it were to be just a vehicle. So very easy options. Obviously that doesn't involve a trust. Uh, it's a good way to avoid probate without a trust. If you have uh, questions about beneficiary designations or about probate avoidance generally, you can click on the link below. You can get on our calendar for a private initial strategy meeting with me and we can talk about your options and how we can uh, make things easy for your family. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend and the, and this upcoming week. This is Paul from Carrie State Planning.